quickly again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Cyanogen mod version 12 which is Lollipop for Galaxy S3. Now this is now in the beta stage. Now this version particularly is the beta version 3.1 so that was really quick. Uh, it was just a couple of days before we had alpha and now it is in beta phase. So basically what it means is that it is in a working phase so it does work out most of the features does work uh, apart from a few few problems which are still there like uh, probably a lot of small stuff so yeah just that is it but let's get into the ROM now first of all what you saw previously was the lock screen so that is a normal lollipop lock screen so that is pretty cool you do have the launcher which is pretty neat you have a lot of options with that uh, you can go to settings from there okay let's go to settings now and uh, to the about phone page you can see in the about phone page it is cyanogen mod now it is version 5.0.2 which is the latest version of lollipop you can play with this thing and uh, you can play flappy droid or whatever you want yay I made one score and yeah that is it so you can do that it's pretty neat uh, you do have a lot of options now this is the base build you have the kernel version the build date a lot of stuff which you may or may not want to know but yeah this is it so you do have a, a development mode you have a lot of stuff now this is cyanogen mod and cyanogen mod is right now at a phase where it doesn't have a lot of features but this is kind of the ROM with the lollipop uh, which brings lollipop onto our S3 so it is it is there right now so you don't really get a ton of options or some, something like that but it is going to work so yeah pretty cool now let's get into the options which we have right now so in the status bar we have brightness control quick pull down from the right side um, show notification count show weather so weather will be shown here which was uh, kind of there in the um, resurrection remix from so you do have that battery status style so you can actually have icon portrait icon landscape circle text whatever you want you can have that or you can show the uh, percentage also which will be shown as such so that is pretty cool you do have that uh, what else do we have now um, you do have button customization so waking the buttons uh, the device with the center button does work out so that really does help out a lot answering call with the center button is pretty awesome it uh, is something of a boon for any device with a front facing button so that is really cool um, you do have a lot of options you have all of these you do have a new option it's the rear reorient the volume keys what when the screen is rotated so you can have that so that is pretty neat also what else do we have now? Um, the display options we have adaptive brightness, which uh, does work out to save some uh, some of the battery life, I guess. So you do have that option. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, font size, which I of course like a lot. I have set it to small. You can actually slide it up and down. You can have whatever you want. That is huge. That is not very good for me, at least. So yeah, you can have that. Cast screen, double tap to sleep, wake on plug. All of these options are available and are working. That is the thing about the ROM. It does work. What else do we have? All of these are standard lollipop features. So that is pretty standard. You have a lot of options. In the privacy options, of course, you have privacy guard, which you can use to disable any sort of uh, stuff so you can have um, you can stop any app from using your private data if you don't want to do that so pretty cool it really does work out stats collection you can turn it off if you don't want that manage notification if you want some any app which does not you don't need it to access a notification area you can have that too so that is pretty neat a lot of options there language and input now this does have uh, fixes a lot of fixes uh, basically this version 3.1 has a lot of bug fixes now one of the bug fixes is that you saw the notify uh, the touch um, lights right it is now not working because I wasn't using it but when I touch that it does work out previously when the screen was lit the buttons also were lit so now that has been fixed so that is something uh, which has came out of the bug fixes so that is really cool um, CM sources are updated it has KitKat LMK values a lot of stuff uh, which are under the hood which does work out really nicely 
And something which I really like is the battery. Battery has in, evolved into a, something which is really great. Now, the battery life does work out. Uh, what I mean by that is that it does uh, go into deep sleep. Previously, my all the other lollipop ROMs had a problem and never, even if the phone was not used, the battery would slightly go down. Like, uh, you can see these, this curve. This curve here is straight. That means the battery was not used. And the Wi-Fi was off. The uh, It was not awake. The screen was not awake. So, the battery was not used. So, that is pretty neat. I guess that is a really good step in the right direction for people who want to use this as a very uh, basic daily driver you can use that so that is pretty neat i really like that uh, because previous lollipop roms as i've already said did not have that feature it did the battery was leaking uh, i mean the battery was being used even if the screen was turned off so that is something which you can do to conserve battery so just turn off the uh, just turn the screen off the battery won't be wasted so pretty neat um i really like that one what else do we have now um that is it i mean Sajin Mod, as I've already said, is not at a phase right now where it can provide more features for the user, but they are providing more of a stable ROM first and then getting into the features. So that is pretty cool. You can have that. These are the stuff which it comes with. Uh, it does have uh, the music app, which is pretty cool. I'm using uh, a few songs and it does work out. I really like that. Um, I didn't have any issues with these musics playing. Um, I use a app which uh, I personally use to transmit it over my mono Bluetooth headset. It does work out. I didn't have any problems with it. I'm not really sure what was the problem you guys face. Uh, do tell me so that I can maybe see into it. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Let me show you guys the camera app. I haven't started it. It is working. So that is something pretty cool. You do have the... Um, Okay, just took a photo. You do have the other mode, so it is working also. It does work out pretty neatly. Uh, all of the stuff work. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. It still requires the SuperSU script to be flashed because the onboard SuperSU, the um, super, su super user script, which comes with the ROM, does not really work with my Titanium backup files. Uh, it doesn't really back up anything. Something which is really important is that the H uh, hardware composer is now fixed uh, the reason I say fixed is it doesn't still doesn't seek I, ca I cannot uh, skip to a uh, device or something like that I cannot do that because uh, I'm not really sure though <laughs> it doesn't seek uh, in the same way which we used to do it so that uh, I think there is a few problems of it, uh, remaining so yeah what else do we have the benchmark score let me show you guys the benchmark score which is pretty neat I guess it's good enough I mean it is 26500 which is good enough which uh, is like any other lollipop ROM which is right now out there so it is not going to blow your socks off with the performance of it but it is acceptable now a lot of people have reported that uh, they were having problems with the apps not being able to move it to uh, SD card and this does have that problem not enough storage space available I guess all the lollipop ROM has that problem so unless the geniuses at Science and Mod figures it out maybe we won't have that uh, we can't use that function so yeah I'm not really sure why that is let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty standard for Science and Mod ROM So here is the Cyanogen mod boot animation, which is pretty awesome. It's really cool. Um, yeah, it's it's a basic Cyanogen mod. It's been always like this from Cyanogen mod 10, I guess, or 11. It's been the same. So yeah. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Um, again, this is an update to a previously okay working ROM so this is now a good working ROM it's not going to be a daily driver for a lot of people but most of people who just want uh, data just do a few calls just uh, have some data uh, searching internet searching and stuff like that may be able to pass this off as a daily driver so I'm not going to judge on that so that's pretty cool um, still in beta so I'm not going to say this is perfect ROM for anyone out there but hey it does work out and the battery life because of its improvements 
as a battery life because of its improvements are going to please a lot of people so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye